I just had the int most interesting dream. Well, I say most interesting, but that's a lie because I get a lot of those interesting ones. But <clears throat> I had like a three hour nap and in that nap, I was in another reality, which is basically astral traveling, but it wasn't me. I was watching someone that I knew was me. She, she was a child, she was a blonde. She was <clears throat> being trained by her grandma to unlock her potential. And when I say unlock her potential, I mean her magic. I was just watching, watching the whole thing unfold. But I am the girl. I just know I am her. And she is not a past life. She, it feels like this is currently happening in her reality. And I am traveling to see it. Or have traveled to see it. It's so amazing. That reality is, uh, there is a physical shape shifting. So it's, um, it's interesting, more than this one, I would say. But it was still interesting to see. So she was, she, she was like struggling with the shape shifting. Her grandma, which is my grandma in that reality, in a way, let's just say her grandma. Her grandma was trying to teach her how to ship, uh, shape shift into the, <clears throat> the spirit that she is so that she can reach her potential or uh, fulfill her potential. I mean, she was failing, 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 but uh, towards the end, she made it into the image or the shape shift that is her, in a way. It's all interesting. It's all interesting. I was just watching it unfold. She was shape shifting when she was angry, shape shifting when she was sad, shape shifting into the opposite of what she wanted to shape shift into. But in the end, there was a man that was brought to her and he almost like forced her into shapeshift and that pushed her into realizing her power it was so beautiful to see she was like totally transformed into light and just just like she started boo booming <laughs> beaming She's a really blonde, so with the light, and her blonde was like, oh my god, she is so beautiful. And she's a, she's a child, you know, like, well, when I say a child, uh, early teenage years, 10, 11, maybe 12. <clears throat> and then she realized her power, he, she realized her magic. And that's when I left. It was beautiful to see. It was so beautiful to see. I woke up with so with such a good mood, you guys. I woke up with like joy in my heart. <laughs> I woke up with hope in my heart. I was so happy. I was so happy for her. But the thing is, I, like, she is me. And I don't know how to explain it. It's like in a different reality, me. Maybe a different universe. Because it's not past life. It's happening right now. It's happening right now, you know. I don't know. This reminds me, actually, of the theory that I heard uh, some time ago, I think it was said by Bashar, where we can be in charge of ourselves, but also other people that are part of our soul. 
And I found that interesting because I never kind of thought about it. Maybe this is one of those. All I know, I was her, the blondie child. And she was struggling to reach her potential, realize her potential. I was actually a little bit, little bit jealous of her grandma being there for her. Her grandma was like a really good teacher. And I say was, and I stopped because is. Her grandma, she's lucky to have her. I wish I had that. Like even in the dream, I'm like, oh, you got your grandma, good, good, she's teaching you. Uh, my grandma is, is a witch, but she taught me fuck all. Um, she's more on the dark side than the light. I'm the a black wolf of the family, so to speak. But anyways, I was so happy for her. Yeah, it was such a beautiful dream. And I, you know, like, there, like every time I think about it, I remember something because it's, it's it was so interesting, the shape-shifting. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, it, the wildest thing will appear in her face. She would change. And she can get small and big, but her original is a child. She can get like, you know, do, 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 the colors. Ooh, so interesting. And this is how I know it's in it's it's a different reality. It's it's happening right now, meaning it's not this universe. Maybe it is this the universe. I don't know, or a different type of universe, where that is possible or normal, because her grandma does the same. She was teaching her how to shape shift into her potential. You, do you understand? shape shift into her potential so there isn't really an image to that but it's a meaning it's an energy that she was pushing her grandchild to shape shift into such a beautiful thing to witness and um as i was there i was uh i was like just you know, looking around, but the main thing was was taking my attention, which is these two, the the child and the grandma, and um, I was there, and it's it's so interesting. I don't know what to say about that. And I realized I was astral projecting or astral traveling. I should say projecting is not really the good word for it. I knew it. <clears throat> I know it, and I knew she was me, and I knew I was watching outside. I don't think they knew I was there. No, they didn't know I was there. Maybe I was like invincible, Invinci invincible, <laughs> Invi in in invisible, <laughs> or I was, um, or they're used to watchers, you know, because that can happen. But the girl's uh, stubborn kind of idea about, oh, it's not possible, reminded me of myself right now in this life. And when she finally, when I finally saw the glow in her eyes, that she did it. Oh, such a beautiful thing. I stood there for a few moments, just so happy for her. And then that's when I woke up. Uh, just wanted to share it. This, I don't like. <clears throat> I don't think it has anything to do with the collective. I feel like this is quite personal to me, so I just wanted to share. Maybe you've had like similar uh, experiences, but I, I just wanted to share something personal with you, which is so beautiful. I woke up fully energized, fully, full of life, full of zest. 
so yeah that's that